What's going on YouTube? It's Andy the Pair of Head Picker coming at you guys today with another edition of Making Money Monday. This will be a two-part video. Um, this is volume 47. Uh, we'll just call it part one, I guess. Um, this will be hard goods, hats, and shoes. So uh, pretty much everything I'm going to show you here in this video will be all the hard goods, hats, and shoes uh, that I sold over the past two weeks. I didn't get a video out last week. Just had a lot going on. Uh, this week looks to be about the same, but I am going to try and push these couple videos out. Uh, I know a lot of you guys message me and stuff. You guys say uh, you, you miss, you don't want to do the sales updates and what have you. So um, anyway, I'm going to try and get those out to you guys. And uh, we'll show you everything I sold, pretty much everything I sold. I, I won't do everything, but uh, give you a, a good idea anyway. Uh, hard goods is always fun. I, I love selling hard goods, uh, but, you know, clothing is my bread and butter. Um, you know, it's getting that time of year where, uh, you know, garage sale season is pretty well dried up, so I don't find a lot of good hard goods, but I, you know, I do find things from time to time at the thrift shops and what have you. So, uh, anyway, we'll jump into it and, uh, I'll show you everything I sold. And you guys be sure to check out the other video, uh, the clothing video, if clothing is something that you guys sell or that you're interested in. Um, anyway, let's jump into it. All right. So, uh, first up, this here's just a regular, uh, Nintendo Wii rock band guitar uh, dongle. Um, yeah, oh, shoot. <laughs> there we go. Uh, you guys can see this here a little better, but anyway, it has the, uh, the rock band logo on it and it's got the two little guitars. Uh, they have one of these also has, uh, like a set of drums on it. And then there's a single one, but typically these always go for right about 16 bucks for me. Um, usually I'll pick them up for 50 cents to a dollar. Um, they only cost two sixty to ship. They're super lightweight. And, uh, you know, by the time everything's all said and done, you know, like I said, I've only got three photos of them. They're super quick to list. I don't mind spending a little bit of time on these because, um, like I said, they are very quick to uh, to photograph and list. Um, I normally focus on a little higher ROI items, but, you know, when you only got to take two photos and they're super lightweight and stuff like that, you know, it's that's definitely worth my time. Uh, so, uh, yeah, keep an eye out for these um, uh, little dongles. Uh, so this here, just a little Lana Burger Horizon of Hope. It's just a little pill case. Um, this is the second one I sold. I think I picked these up for 50 cents a piece at a garage sale. They were new with tags. The tag actually said uh, $7.99 on the tag, and uh, you can see I had these on sale for 10% off. I listed them for $14.99 free ship, and uh, I got $13.49 out of it. So, you know, another one of them items, just a, a low-hanging fruit item, but, you know, when you pay 50 cents for it, you only got to take a couple photos. Uh, it was an easy $10, so... Um, and I got two of them, so I was able to utilize the uh, uh, multi-quantity listing, so that was a, a plus as well. Um, so another uh, one of these uh, Hallmark ornaments. Um, I picked up like three of these. I think I had a G.I. Joe one I had just sold, and then there was uh, a Spider-Man I sold a couple weeks ago as well. Um, this is the third one. I think I picked these up for about 50 cents a piece. They were all in really good shape uh, condition. Um, you can see like they, you know, uh, this is Mr. Incredible, but uh, yeah, not a bad sale there either. Got a what, thirteen forty nine out of that? They're you know these went first class. Um, you know, it's still after shipping and everything, I still made about ten dollars on this. Like I said, a little bit of low hanging fruit, but it's only just a couple photos. Um, and uh, like so, when I picked this up, I picked up two other ones, so I had about a buck fifty uh, in into three ornaments, and I flipped them all for about fifteen bucks a piece. So uh, in the end, I probably turned that dollar fifty into a thirty dollar profit. You know, nothing crazy, but uh. You know, it's just those little things. Christmas ornaments sell real well, especially uh, this time of year. Uh, so this little guy, uh, just a little Harley Davidson, little beanie um, type of things. Here's a razor. Uh, but yeah, you know, just three photos. I paid 50 cents for him, I believe, at Goodwill. Had the tag on it, and I got uh, $11.69 out of him, free ship. So he was $2.60 to ship as well. Um, you know, another little $10 sale. You know, I'm not, I'm not making a killing here on these by any means, but... Uh, you know, they are easy to uh, to photograph and flip. He's here. Um, I was just talking last night with uh, Shane over at Rise of Grand Picks. We were kind of going back and forth after the reseller six-pack show um, about just some different things. And he was telling me uh, about some things he had picked up. And I told him this is, uh, these here are a really nice little bolo for you guys uh, to keep an eye out for. These here are like stamping up, um, uh, I guess they're like a, Paper punches, um, it's for crafting and what have you. Um, this one here is a relatively good size one. Um, and these retire, kind of like Lana Burger and Pampers Chef, you know, all those different, uh, you know, when they have the little parties, the, the ladies have all the little parties for things. 
Uh, these stamps and stuff, some of them retire, and they can go for some pretty good money. Um, I did have these originally listed for $45, bucks, uh, free shipping for the three of these. I think I paid like $0.50. Cents. I might have paid a dollar for the big one, and these other two I probably paid $0.50 cents a piece, or you know, there's a cancer awareness one. But I lotted them all up. They are relatively heavy because uh, they do have a big piece of metal in them. Uh, so these will go more than likely priority unless you're just selling a single. Uh, but, you know, my advice is to kind of lot these up. But I got $34.49 out, the, out of those. So uh, nice little sale there. But yeah, keep an eye out for these like little stamping up uh, die cutters. These things do go for some pretty decent money. I have sold a few of these in the past. A lot of times you can find them at Goodwill. They're sitting in the craft area. Uh, they'll be like $0.49, cents, some, sometimes a dollar. But, uh, yeah, so those there do really well. I uh, just sold this Rob Thomas DVD. I think I paid, yeah, this is new sealed. I had $13.49 out of that. I uh, picked up this pack of Sony VHS tapes. Uh, I got this at my local Goodwill. Paid $2.99 for that. They sold for $29. Uh, always pick up, man, the multi packs of uh, VHS tapes. You know, definitely scan them just to check them to make sure they're worth it. But most of the multi packs are always worth at least $20. Uh, some worth a little more. Sony, obviously, a good brand. Uh, this here is one of the uh, Amazon. I, I just had a bunch of my Am Amazon stuff uh, recalled. Um, I had a couple uh, TI calculators that came back. Um, this is one of them. It sold, I think, the day after I listed it. I got $35.99 out of that. Uh, TI calculators are now restricted on Amazon, so I wasn't able to sell this after I had sent it in. Yeah. So anyway, um, but I got $35 out of that. Um, this is yeah, auctioning. I think I sold. I have another one, too. Yeah, there's the other one. Uh, and this was auction B, and I sold this, I believe, the next day. The first one went to buyback calculators. Um, they typically buy most of my uh, TIs um, whenever I sell them. It's a, I forget where they're located. It's kind of like Cream City Cameras. They buy the majority of my uh, Polaroids whenever I sell those. Buyback calculators usually buys these. I don't know why they, they didn't grab them both because I listed them both the exact same day at the same time. But uh, this one here went to somebody, I believe, in Texas. I'm not exactly sure but anyway I got 35 bucks out of both of those so they were gone I think yeah one sold in a few hours ago one sold the next day so uh, definitely uh, not the money that they used to be but uh, still you know definitely worth a pickup if you can get them for under five bucks uh, pick this up at a goodwill um, and it's maybe been a couple months ago uh, it's really cool uh, I, I was asking a little a little bit for it but uh, I got 24.99 out of this this is a shankopotamus. Uh, it's kind of like a golf humor. Um, you guys golf or not, but uh, you know when you're when you're a duffer kind of like myself, uh, you tend to hook it and slice it. You know they they call that shank. So uh, the little running joke is you know you're shank. People call you shankopotamus or whatever. So anyway, uh, I thought this was a really cool uh, golf head cover. Um, had the old uh, the old hippopotamus or shankopotamus on it. Uh, but yeah, really really neat. Uh, just golf item here. Um, and I paid, I believe, 99 cents for this at uh, Goodwill. Yeah, he was really cool, and he was super lightweight, so he shipped first class. So nice little return there. Don't overlook the, uh, the golf head covers, uh, especially uh, odd or obscure ones. Um, actually, in the Shankopotamus, I sold a Shankopotamus golf hat um, here not, oh, it's maybe been six months ago, and I think I got 20, 25 bucks out of that, so... Yeah, guys, uh, keep an eye out for the Shankopotamus uh, logo. There's not a lot of it out there, so um, you can get some pretty decent money for it. And it's kind of funny. So just make sure you use uh, uh, funny or humor, uh, gag gift, you know, that sort of stuff in your uh, keywords. That's kind of what I did with mine. Uh, I even used uh, Duffer, uh, stuff like that. So, but anyway, yeah, uh, great little item there. Uh, I sold these uh, Starbucks. Um, Couple travel mugs, and then the one was kind of like a ceramic insulated mug. Got $34.99 out of those. Um, maybe getting picky on picking up Starbucks stuff anymore. Um, I think I got these at a garage sale for like 50 cents a piece, so I just lotted them all together. Uh, I gotta give a shout out to John Cincinnati Picker. Uh, started uh, looking after uh, baseball gloves a little more, um, scanning them, checking them, uh, and what have you. Uh, I did run across this at my local Goodwill. I believe I paid $4.99 for this. Um, it's really nice Rawlings, just softball glove. Um, usually on the inside of the glove, uh, somewhere. Let me see if I can show you my photos here. Yeah, on the inside of the glove, 
Uh, you can see like right here, this is how you kind of look them up. Um, it'll be a Rawlings, and then this will be the, the uh, model number, like RBG4, and then it's a 13-inch. Uh, something you want to pay attention to is how many inches it is. Um, and then uh, this is a, um, a right-handed thrower, so you want to take and put those in the title. Um, and I did kind of clean this up. Uh, it was The leather was still pretty soft and good and stuff like that. But uh, I, I picked up, um, I started selling quite a bit of shoes here lately, um, and uh, I was watching one of Tino, the Soul Advisors videos, and he was really talking about this stuff, he really brags about it. It's called Doc Martin's uh, Wonder Balsam. Um, I, I think this runs right about 10 bucks. Um, it's basically like, a, almost looks like Vaseline, um, but it's like a leather conditioner. Um, and I think it's got like coconut oil, olive oil, and some other stuff in it. Really, really nice little product. Um, I've been using this on my leather shoes uh, just to kind of clean them up and stuff like that. And it really kind of you know brings that leather back to life. And I also put it on this glove, and man, it really made that the, the leather in this glove pop. Um, so you know, it only took me a couple of minutes to put that on, let it set for you know just a little bit, and then wipe it all off. So the leather was really, really nice. So uh, just one of them items that I you know kind of just added to my repertoire now. And like I said, I, I started selling a little more shoes. And uh, I really, really like this product. It, it, it really kind of brings that leather back to life if you got some worn uh, or tired-looking leather. But, uh, yeah, I got uh, $26.49 out of that, and I made the buyer pay shipping, so about a $20 profit there. Uh, then I sold this, uh, God, this is a, like a flight stick. Um, really old-school one, too, because I think this has, like, the pin... Yeah, it has the old, uh, what is that, like an RS-232, or uh, I, I, I probably butchered that. I'm not sure what the uh, the old 15-pin uh, connector on it, but uh, yeah, really nice uh, little joystick, flight stick, whatever you want to call it. Had the manual and, and uh, everything else with it, so uh, I think I picked this up for two or three bucks at my local Goodwill, um, and uh, sold for uh, $47.99, so not a bad little sale there. Um, then I sold, I actually just sold these while I was, uh, printing out a bunch of my shipping labels this morning. I had another sale. So this one here actually just went this morning. Uh, you can see about 8, 15 AM. Uh, these here are just some, uh, Monopoly, uh, game tokens. I typically do not pick up anything from the mainline Monopoly. And that's like what this is, you know, with the, the ones that has the ship, the car, the, all that. But, uh, I think I got this in a garage sale. It was just a set, a uh, Monopoly set I happened to see. And it was like 50 cents. The box was just beat. Um, but these are the gold tokens, so it's not like the regular silver pewter ones or whatever. And there was like 12 of them in there. So, uh, I think the lady was asking like a buck for a Monopoly. I got it for 50 cents. I just took all the tokens out, uh, photographed them, just like that. Three pictures, and, uh, I got 11.99 out of it. So, um, you know, not a home run by any means, but, uh, you know, quick, easy 10 bucks. So. Uh, I'll, I'll do that all day long. Like I said, I typically stay away from the mainline Monopoly. I, I usually always uh, like to pick up any of the themed Monopolies um, and those tokens there. Usually I get in the 15 to $20 range for just tokens. So, uh, don't pass up on the themed Monopoly sets, guys. All right. I think that was most of the hard goods I sold over the past week. Um, some of the shoes I sold. Um, like I said, I've been picking up some shoes. In my area, it's hard to find the shoes for a good price. But this here is a great brand to keep an eye out for if you guys are thinking about getting into shoes. Um, these here are Allen Edmonds. Um, these are just the Maxfields, just a nice tassel loafer. Um, you know, I'm still learning about shoes, so you know, I'll pass on whatever knowledge I start picking up onto you guys, and uh, you know, hopefully, you guys can pick up some stuff uh, with shoes as well. But uh, yeah, really, really nice pair of uh, just kind of casual shoes. Um, this with the there's what the logo looks like, so if uh, you guys are out and you guys notice this, but Allen Edmonds is a great brand to pick up. Uh, and I got what? Uh, I had these on sale for 10% off. Um, 49, yeah, got about 50 bucks out of those, plus made the buyer pay shipping. So nice little sale there, and I don't think I paid over $5 for those shoes. Uh, another pair of uh, shoes I sold this week. These here are a pair of Doc Martens. They're size 13. Uh, forty-four ninety-nine out of those plus buyer paid shipping. Uh, these are coming back. Uh, the buyer got pretty clever with me. Um, he's uh, you know, these are an, a very heavy item. They didn't fit him. Uh, but I was trying to get him to say they didn't fit. Uh, he tried to tell me that they were running. They run really, really small. 
Uh, so instead of using they don't fit, they're mislabeled, so they are item not as described, so he didn't have to pay the return shipping. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I wrote the gentleman back. I tried to get him to, you know, I said, hey, I said, you know, we're sorry that, you know, these shoes uh, didn't seem to work out for you. Um, you know, I, I know that you said that uh, that they, uh, you know, weren't at, um, not as described, but uh, uh, that I, I somehow misrepresented these or what have you. Uh, but I said, I'm just trying to make sure these are in, uh, you know, really good shape, condition, everything. It was just uh, a simple matter of these just don't fit and uh, you would like your money back, correct? Well, he was, this guy was actually pretty sharp and he was like, no. He goes, these are mislabeled. He goes, I would not resell these shoes, uh, what have you. So anyway, I just accepted the return. Uh, you know, I'm going to eat the eight bucks shipping, whatever. Uh, not a big deal. I only have five bucks into these. Um, you know, so now I'm at 13 bucks, but I'll still be able to resell these shoes again for probably about $50. So I'm still going to make money on it. It's just one of those deals that the guy was trying to skirt himself around the uh, eating the $10 in the shipping. So just because they didn't fit. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, it's just part of doing business. Uh, I sold this uh, White Sox hat. Uh, picked this up, I believe, at a Goodwill or garage sale. Um, I paid a dollar for this. Just regular, you know, uh, $59.50 fitted hat. Had twenty dollars out of that free ship. Sold this Peterbilt hat again. Um, this here went. Uh, I sold it once. It came back. The guy yeah, said I completely misrepresented this hat. My photos were deceiving. The hat was a piece of garbage. Um, this is a really old vintage hat. Um, it was a really really nice shape and condition. I mean, you guys can see from my photos. I mean that this thing is just it's it's super it's super crisp and clean. Uh, guy just said it was poor quality, blah, 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 blah. I just told him to send it back. It's not a big deal. You know, I mean, I had a dollar into it. It was only going to cost, you know, under three bucks to have sent back. And I sold it again within just a couple days of relisting. So uh, I haven't heard anything back on this one. So we're all good. And I sold this uh, Glock girl, um, you know, Glock handguns. Uh, sold this hat here just the other day. I got another 20 bucks out of that. Typically, that's right where I price my hats at. It's in that $20 range. Um, you know, it gives me a little bit of room if I want to run like a 10% off sale. So I get $17.99. I typically never pay more than a uh, dollar um, for a hat. Occasionally, I will pay two, but it's got to be something uh, that really, really jumps out um, or something new with tags that I know I'm going to get a little bit more money for. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I sold uh, that one. And then, uh, last but not least, sold another pair of shoes. These here are a pair of women's Timberland uh, hiking boots. Um, these are in really, really good shape and condition as well. I got $40 out of those. Um, you know, just really, really, these have the Gore-Tex in them, so these are kind of waterproof. Just really, really nice pair of boots. Um, been picking up a few more women's shoes, so, um, but yeah, yeah, that's those. You guys see why I kind of like uh, picking up shoes. I think I sold four pairs of shoes, and all of them have been over 40 bucks. So definitely helping uh, increase my overall, um, you know, cost per item or average sale price, whatever you want to call it. So definitely, uh, yeah, I really, really like selling shoes, and I always make the buyers pay for shipping on shoes just because typically, uh, well, a pair of boots like these, these are probably about four pounds. So, um, you know, on air, or if you want to do, uh, like, shipping is... Um, not calculated, but uh, like a flat rate shipping at 10 bucks. Uh, usually you're okay um, if you want to do that as well. But normally I just do calculated shipping. All right, guys. It was the uh, majority of the sales uh, as far as um, hard goods, um, hats, and shoes that I sold over the past two weeks. Um, you know, not a lot of... Uh, not a lot of home runs by any means, just a lot of bread and butter stuff. But, you know, just some of the stuff that I like to pick up and uh, sell and what have you. So, anyway... I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in, um, sticking uh, with this to the end and watching what have you. Uh, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, Comment below if you've got any questions or anything like that uh, for me. You know, I'm more than happy to answer them. Uh, you guys can uh, email me. I'll have a link to that in the description below. You guys can hit me up on Instagram. Uh, I'm more than happy to answer your questions there. Um, sometimes on there, I'll post some of my different finds and what have you. Just some you know, other random stuff. Um, but yeah, so anyway, um, if you haven't uh, or you're still interested in clothing and what have you, uh, make sure you guys tune into that video. I'm going to have that video uh, up as well. And that's going to do it. That's my time. Thanks for watching. And as always, fins up, everybody. Bye-bye.